In the space of just a little over two years, a third student has been killed after a fight related to groups within Bumayong Secondary School in Lei. The Lutheran-run secondary school is still suspended and its students still fear the future of their education and their safety. It's understood that the school's administration will be meeting with students and their parents tomorrow. The school is also looking for alternative venues to stage the grade 10 and 12 examination, but it wants to firstly deal with issues arising from the students' death last week Friday. Groups within the school have flourished over the years when the school's administrations downplayed their existence. Today, these groups have become more organized and well-structured. Without fearing authorities, members of the group stage fights in the school and in public areas. Same thing happened at, at, at Burgundy. 2012, I lost my son. And then several years later, I think they, they lost another son. Pastor Matthew uh, Passingan uh, lost his son to group fights in 2012. He was stabbed with a screwdriver. He is now calling for the administrations of lay secondary schools to open their doors to more decisive approaches to finding the root cause of this school fight problems. I feel very sorry for the situation at uh, Bumayong. It's been there for many, many years. The stance by the parents and members of the public is for the school administration to quit the silence and open its doors to find what may be a deeply rooted cause. Bethany Harriman, National MTV News, Lay.